Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Time for week 952. Have I got a treat for you? Actually, I do believe that if President Carter had won a second election, that the Carter Center would not exist. And the reason why is because after eight years of running this country, you're exhausted. I've never been the president before, but I can just imagine how tired you would need sleep for at least a year. The fact that he only served one term meant that he was still ambitious and he still wanted to make a difference in the world. That was to his advantage, although it didn't seem like when he lost, I'm sure he was like, this is just terrible. But the Carter Center has done so much across the world that it was worth him only serving one term as the president. Yes, the Carter Center has benefited the entire world. In America, we think of human rights differently. Across the world, human rights means having access to running water immunizations, being free from sickness and disease, having food, being able to work and take care of your family, being free from conflict. The Carter Center has resolved many issues that I don't know that our leaders would have been able to do just because of the laws that bind them. I 100% unequivocally believe that the Carter Center has had a global impact for decades. I do believe that the Carter Center is the reason why Jimmy Carter is still alive. He was born in 1924 because sedentary lives just cause you to just be inactive. You don't have a reason to wake up in the morning. And when you are plagued with sickness and disease, if you don't have a reason to be here, you won't be here anymore. I believe being active and understanding that the world needs the Carter Center is the reason why, even when he had a bout with cancer, he was still able to maintain his life and continue to move forward. As you know, three of his siblings passed from cancer. So I unequivocally believe that the Carter Center is the reason why he's still with us. Him and his wife are still with us today. Every time I read a book, I always look at the year that it was written. And this book was written in 2007. In 2007, I had a near-death experience. And that year is just something inside of me clicks because I could not be here. So anything that I have consumed from 2007 forward has a lasting impact on my life because again, I couldn't be here. I am grateful for being able to have been able to read this book in 2017. The thing that stuck out the most for me is the importance of philanthropy. There are 2,083 billionaires on the billionaires list as of 2017. And most of those billionaires have a philanthropic heart. They've built their wealth and now they want to give back. Without wealth, none of these projects that the Carter Center has instituted or continues to support would be possible. I understand that without contributions, you can have a billion volunteers, but if you don't have the financing for those projects, they can never get off the ground. So volunteers plus wealth equals philanthropy. Absolutely, I recommend reading this book. I will say that some of the language is kind of dense. So if you are a slow reader, give yourself two weeks to read the book. For the fast readers like myself, I just broke the book up 37 pages a day, done in seven days. It is worth the time that it takes to read this book. You will definitely have a different perspective on the world as a whole. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. But before I get out of here, just remember, if it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Watch what we can do in 52. I'll see you guys next week. Adios.